guys and welcome to this week's roundup of the car news. I've got some really cool news for you this week. It's probably the best you've already heard, but by the time you're watching this, you've probably already heard it. Chris Evans has quit Top Gear. Yes! Apparently he won't even be replaced either. So that means Chris Harris and Matt LeBlanc are going to obviously step up to the game and fill his boots which shouldn't really be a massive hard job to do, let's be honest. Um, did Chris Evans apologise for fucking up Top Gear? Did he fuck? He basically just stated that he wants to concentrate more on his radio shows and also his car fest events. So uh, goodbye Chris, I'd love to say it's been fun, but really it's been painful, excruciating, exhausting, frustrating and boring to watch. Goodbye Chris! Ferrari have unveiled the official pictures of the LaFerrari Spider. Have a look up there, pretty sexy don't you think? No official name has been given to the LaFerrari Spider yet, but it's rumoured to be called the Aperta. Let's have a little refresh on the performance figures. It's 6.2 litre V12, 950 brake horsepower and 0 to 62 in 2.9 seconds. The best bit about it is actually no performance loss from the coupe version to the Spider version. So Ferrari done pretty well with the uh, LaFerrari Spider. It's going to cost over 2.5 million pounds to be able to get your hands on one of these bad boys. But no doubt even if you had the money, you're probably going to struggle because they've pretty much already been spoken for, including the foul mouth chef Gordon Ramsay. Alright, so some more Transformers news now for you. We've covered a few other Transformers news in previous episodes, but it looks like Mr. Bay has been handed a bucket full of cash by Mercedes to swap out a Bugatti for their new Mercedes AMG GTR. Um, it's called the Drift, which is the samurai wielding Autobot, and it was a Bugatti Veyron in previous films. It's now going to be the 4 litre twin turbo V8, complete with 570 brake horsepower in the form of the new Mercedes AMG GTR. Alright, time to get a little bit serious. I need to introduce you guys to a living legend. His name is Hiramatsu, who is a lawyer living in Tokyo. After owning and enjoying a McLaren 650S, he visited McLaren factory in the UK and actually placed an order for the McLaren P1. After visiting the parks in London, he loved the greenery, so he got it in the green colour. And he now uses it as a daily driver commuting from Tokyo to his office Monday to Friday. Could you imagine that as your daily commute, a McLaren P1? What a legend. Is he young and single? No, he actually has a wife, two kids and a dog. Oh, and by the way, at the weekend, he actually becomes a racing driver and takes the McLaren P1 on tracks such as the Fuji Speedway. What a fucking legend. Okay, so to finish this week's roundup of the car news, I'm giving it to the Grand Tour. If you don't know what the Grand Tour is yet, what fucking rock have you guys been hiding under? It's the new Jeremy Clarkson motoring show that's going to be on Amazon Prime. We have an exclusive clip for you guys. Are you ready? Here it is. Yep, that was it. That was the, um, <laughs> the first um, kind of showing of the new Grand Tour. It's not really exclusive. We nicked it off Jeremy Clarkson's Facebook page. Um, but they've also uh, confirmed that they're going to be filming an episode for the Grand Tour in the UK. No tickets um, are actually available. You would have actually had to win them through Amazon Pays. They kind of held a competition. It's due to be released, I think their first episode, around autumn time. So we have no Top Gear on our tellies at the moment. I cannot wait for the Grand Tour, which is probably going to be an absolute billion times better than the Top Gear anyway. And that's it, guys. That's your dose of the weekly car news. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to join me next week, Monday, 6 o'clock, as we always do for your dose of car news. Uh, I've been Gas Kings, star of YouTube and Instagram. Until next time, guys, bye bye. Oh, fuck off, Chris. Just because you got sacked from Top Gear, you ain't having my job as well. <laughs> <laughs>